couple of things that you'll have to provide on your own for keeping track of things throughout the game. You'll need time tokens, something to uh, put on the player board uh, to track actions being taken. You need about seven of those per player. Uh, you'll need a favor token per player. You'll need uh, chore tokens, something to keep track of the uh, threshold number to complete chore cards. Uh, rumor tokens to place uh, out on the map locations whenever the rumor cards are drawn so that you know where to focus your attention. Um, also get some exploration tokens um, to show that whenever the area has been explored or you've taken an action that uh, shows the contents of a rumor card um, or know that a area in that is more restricted um, which is the orange circles uh, around the spaces when those have been completed and dice uh, again just standard uh, d6 dice six-sided dice uh, I've got a set of dice from the uh, Tales from the Loop RPG um, and then the firewall bag uh, the firewall bag itself uh, doesn't have to be a cloth bag. It could be a box. It could be a, a cup. It could be a bowl. Something that you could use um, to randomly draw the firewall tokens. Uh, something for a first player token um, that you can be used. And then uh, these um, location uh, tokens are supplied in the uh, print and play. Just print those out and have those available. And then uh, set all this kind of stuff um, next to the player board, on the player board, or to the side of the board uh, within easy reach of all the players. Also have a cube available for the weekly schedule to keep track of turns that you take throughout the game. All right, you also might need to find something to help your um, enigma and insight tracks and keep track of those. Uh, I just made some uh, cut out plastic dials. Uh, I had some leftover pegs that you usually put in those spin dials uh, and you know punched a hole in the um, the print and play map and then put that together. You don't necessarily have to do that. You could literally just take a cube and set it on top of the uh, number like that to know exactly where you are at in those trackers. All right, welcome to this uh, setting up of Tales from the Loop, the board game. So set the board up in the middle of the play area as you see here and set the Enigma and Insight markers and trackers. Set the Enigma and Insight Trackers to zero. Each player chooses a character they want to play and takes their character sheet. Everyone should also take their standee, which is here. I'm going to have Stefan sitting out this game so you can see his standee here. I've got the other three characters already sitting on the board. You take their iconic item, and the iconic item is listed up at the top uh, of the character sheet. And then you're going to take six time tokens. I'm using cubes uh, for this print and play. You're going to have to find some token or uh, any kind of other uh, item that you can use for tracking. So you're going to start with six time tokens. Those time tokens are going to be used to take actions throughout the game, which uh, we'll go over in another video. Also, you're going to want to take a, a different colored token of some kind and give that uh, one to each character that's going to be playing. Uh, those tokens will be used to the favor track to know whether or not you're in good standing with your parents uh, and what abilities you have and what uh, certain conditions that you need to focus on. And you're going to place that at the top of the favor track. After selecting your character's iconic card, shuffle the item deck and the anomaly deck and place it somewhere near the board. So here you can see the scenario in the back of the PNP rulebook. It'll tell you uh, everything that you need to do to set up uh, primarily the cards and then the uh, machine figures that need to be uh, placed out on the board. Uh, this scenario, bot to mock, is going to have scenario rumor set uh, with the bot icon. Starting diary cards are going to be 2 and 30. Starting machines is going to be the Pahuffer on F8, Fireguard on C7, and then the Watchdog at A4. Location uh, token that's going to be out is going to be the the Satuna Spiders at G, and then rumor cards are going to be this cassette and the Bach, which we're going to shuffle together, and then the school card set uh, is going to be the cassette tape. Now, and with, with this PNP, everything is pretty much set up for you. Uh, you don't have to separate any of the cards. Uh, those are only the cards that actually come in the PNP set.
Check the scenario sheet and place the relevant machine figures and location tokens on the board. Also find the relevant diary cards and place them near the board. Uh, the diary cards, again listed at the back of the uh, scenario book which we looked at before, is 2 and 30. And then G is going to be the token that starts out on the board. And then the three machines uh, that are going to be listed are the watchdogs, the fire guard, and then the, um, I think it's pronounced Pahoffer. Uh, I'm just going to call it a Mark 79 uh, as it's listed on the uh, machine sheet. Okay, so here on the board you can see the starting machines. The Mark 79 is over here at F and then up at the top you're going to say 8 and then come down and put him at F8 and then you're going to have the fire guard over at C and then over to 7, C7 and then A4. Uh, actually, I think I put him at A5 so we'll just move this guy over to A4. All right, so now he's over at A4. I see him a little bit better. And you can see how I've placed the location token uh, Satuna Spiders there on location G. All right, you're going to have a deck of school cards. All of the school cards in the bottom box scenario have this cassette icon, so you're going to get all those together, shuffle them up. and place them on the school draw deck. Okay, so now you're going to check which rumor card sets are used in the scenario and like we looked at the back of the uh, PNP rulebook, uh, it's going to be the ones with the cassette tape and then um, the bot icon and then the back of the cards have a picture of all the locations that are on the map with the um, matching letter and then you're going to take those two sets and shuffle them all together. Again, in the PNP, you've only got uh, rumor cards with the cassette tape icon and the bot icon. So take those together and shuffle them up and place them on the rumor draw deck. All right, then you'll take your machines that are listed in the scenario setup, uh, the Pawhoffer, the Mark 79, the uh, Fire Guard, and the Watchdog. Uh, you'll place their response cards uh, just to the left of them or somewhere nearby. You see there's going to be two cards that come with uh, the machine sheets in this print and play. Uh, there's two, there's one that's routine and one erratic routine and then the opposite side is an alert condition. You're going to want to start with the cards, um, the standard card on the top. You can just place the other card below it. So start with the uh, standard routine condition face up. Then you're going to take the firewall tokens and you're going to place them all into a bag. All right, so one at a time you're going to draw from a shuffled deck of rumor cards and place it on the rumor track, uh, starting from the left side and filling up to space number four. This will tell you where rumors are at within the game and where the students uh, or the kids need to focus their attention. Uh, and then you can take some tokens that you have, um, line around the house, and just label those locations with uh, something that indicates where players need to focus their attention. Alright, so next you're going to take the uh, week one deck of chore cards. You can see that uh, chore cards have a week one and a week two. Take all the week one cards, shuffle them up, and uh, draw one and give one to each uh, player. So now that each character has a chore card, make sure you read those and understand what it is that you can be focusing on. They're almost side missions in a way, um, and you can also uh, see at the top right corner to make sure that you've got the uh, right card. There's a number one at the top right corner to show you're in a week one chore. Alright, and then take something similar to what you've used for time tokens or, or a different type of cube. In this case, I've just used a larger uh, square wooden cube and then place that on Monday of the first week. Uh, this will keep track of your turns throughout your play. 
head on over to your diary cards that uh, were indicated for uh, setup in the scenario at the back of the PNP and then read those individual flavor texts and also certain conditions throughout the game and then what the characters need to initially be focusing on. And finally you're going to place all your character standees on space M where the school is at and begin the school phase. Alright, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped uh, your setup. Uh, please check the uh, description below for links to other videos uh, on rules and components, uh, etc. If you have questions, please leave those in the comment section below. I'm active in the comment section for the Kickstarter while it's live, and I'll be active in answering questions um, after the Kickstarter is completed. Thanks for watching, and share your experiences, and stay in the loop.